Hello, I'm Janice Truitt. I'm the Children's Minister for Resurrection Episcopal Church in Plano. We're going to begin today with a reading from Children of God Storybook Bible by Desmond Tutu. Jesus said in time, God will gather all people together and will separate them like a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. To those who help God's dream come true, he will say, you are blessed, for I was hungry. You gave me food. I was thirsty. You gave me water. I was a stranger. You welcomed me. I was naked. You gave me clothes. I was sick. You cared for me. I was in prison. And you visited me. Those who were generous will say, But Lord, when were you hungry or thirsty? When were you a stranger or needing clothes? How could you be sick or in prison? God will answer as you did for the, even the least of my children you did for me. Those who were not generous will say, Hey, wait a minute, God. If we had realized that it was you, we would have helped too. God's tear will fall as he says, It is too late. Every time you turn away from one of my children, you turn away from me. Dear God, help me to see you in everyone I meet. What a beautiful story. And it is teaching us the importance of looking for the good in people and trying to help others. And so just as the shepherd will separate the goats from the sheep, God will do that with his people in thinking of those that show kindness and love and those that do not. So to help us to remember us, we are going to create a puppet. And here's one I created. And uh, actually, I also have one that is all white, so you can create it any way you want. And to start off, you're going to need a paper bag. This is one I had. Uh, it was a gift bag, so I needed to cut these off. And parents may need to help out with that so that you end up with a bag like this. And to make it white, I cut a rectangle the size that would fit underneath here. Of course, that's going to get glued down and also a rectangle for the top part and that's going to get glued down. So then you end up where it looks white. For the legs, I cut out some rectangles, uh, four of them, that are about an inch by four inches long. Those will get glued down later. And for the face, I have a, a rectangle that is three and a half by four inches. I folded it over hot dog style. And then I was able then to kind of cut it where it was wider, kind of curving at the top, and then came down to the bottom. So I ended up with a shape like this. Uh, for the ears, I had a rectangle that was about an inch and a half by three inches. I folded that again. And from that, I kept it wide at the bottom, but what I did is at the top, I kind of curved, I kind of curved and came down so that I ended up where I had two ears that are going to be put attached also. So that you will take these parts, and so like this is an example here showing how the legs are glued in between the parts. So you have all four legs glued. And then I, I glued the ears down first, going from the corners down, and then I glued the face on top of that uh, and then for the eyes, I had a little small square that then I thought about the eyes of a dime, the circle of a dime, made a little bit smaller and cut that out so that I could glue that down. Then I used black marker to color that in uh, for the mouth, the smile of the mouth, and then the this line that goes straight up and then the two nostrils. You can draw that either with a white pencil or something like a silver marker. That works. And of course, then the fun thing in the end is, of course, to add all the cotton balls so it's all fluffy like a sheep. Now, if you were doing the white version, you would just need, you could just draw the whole facial features on and everything else, you know, you just have your legs and arms all done the same way. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I enjoyed being with you. Thank you. Bye.